Today is January 3rd. My name is Reagan. What's happening in the world? Here are your past week's headlines. Dams in Brazil are flooding and continuing to flood. Millions were hit by a dangerous winter storm out west and in various parts of Japan. Thousands without power in Bellingham, where I used to live for a few years. And now the Arctic blast has hit us here. The Omicron is raging across the U.S., almost half a million cases on Wednesday and a slew of other major cities. But hospitalizations are inching up slowly, not as fast as cases. In fact, 30% of New York City EMS workers are out sick and something like 20% of New York Police Department servicemen are out sick. 13,000 National Guard troops were deployed in 48 states to help hospitals triage and stuff, I guess. Children are also being especially hit hard with this current variant. Just going to repeat the statistics for good measure that some 62% of the total U.S. population is fully vaccinated and 33% of those have gotten a booster shot, says the CDC. Moving on, airlines canceled hundreds of flights, even thousands as the week continued, and people were stranded everywhere. Fuck that. And stocks are continuing their upward Santa Claus rally, they're calling it, you know, because it doesn't even matter anymore. This is all a fantasy. Just, just up stonks, up stonks. Wasn't even aware of him, but painter Wayne Tebow died at 101 in Sacramento. He was called a California realist. Scotland and Wales have put restrictions in place. And lastly, on Monday, Biden signed a $770 billion defense policy bill that supersized his original Pentagon request. Sorry, but no aid for you. And school loans, you'll have to keep paying those. Wee! Three teens were shot dead in Garland County near Dallas, so he's lived there too. And an armed intruder arrested at Windsor Castle as Queen Elizabeth had dinner or something. On Christmas, was it? I forgot. U.S. and Russian officials have agreed to sit down for security talks on January 10th. A spokesman for the U.S. National Security Council confirmed Tuesday amid tensions over Ukraine. A hospital in Houston will be given the monoclonal treatments, but they don't work for Omicron? It's called Cetrivinol? I don't know. Anyways, there's not enough of it to go around, so good luck. The Pacific Northwest is frozen over in whiteout conditions. Goodbye habitat for humans and fighting in Eastern Republic of Congo between ethnic-based militia and military units. What's new? Same thing every week. A new wave of price increases to hit grocery stores in 2022. Everything from snacks, fish, meat, eggs, dairy, and I use everyplate.com. Yes, rounds out to like $5 a meal delivered to your door every week. I probably will never get sponsored from them considering my content, but I'm trying anyways. Quick break, check out this ultra super Karen on a plane flight. We're learning more about the woman at the center of that disturbing clash on a plane. Patricia Cornwall was arrested for allegedly hitting and spitting on a 69-year-old man. So who is she? Cornwall now works as a realtor, but she used to be a raider at cheerleader. She's also a former actress who appeared on Married with Children and Baywatch under the name Patty Breton. You won the bikini contest in Palm Springs last year. The criminal complaint obtained by... Holiday sales smash records up 8.5% despite COVID and inflation, but guess get this, $120 billion in returns. Cruise ships are getting hit with coronavirus outbreaks again, and bird flu outbreak kills thousands of migratory cranes in Israel. Hmm, just like us. Five dead after a Denver area shooting spree, and later a Learjet went down with four people crashing in El Cajon which means the drawer. Palestinian Authority went to Israel for a senior meeting for the first time in 11 years, and the Australian government called the emergency meeting because Omicron is surging there. A state of emergency in northern Nevada due to snow, and Fauci says that for New Year's to have small, low-key hangouts, man. Get loose while he gets paid half a million dollars a year. Side note, the West Coast is getting battered by nonstop snow, it seems like all week. I keep going back to that story. And in 2021, the best-selling book was called American Marxism by Mark Levin, some guy that calls Biden a walking pandemic. And the best-selling novel was a fiction, something about a woman who lives through the Great Depression and starts a labor union. Sounds cool. Climate change will expand the range of tropical cyclones, making millions more people vulnerable to these devastating storms, a new study says in the Journal of Nature Geoscience. 
This includes cities such as Beijing, Tokyo, New York, and Boston. Dr. Studholm, the lead author of this new study, which projects that a client warming climate will see formation of more of these types of storms in the mid-latitudes where most of the world's population leaves and where most economic activity takes place. Goodbye, economic activity. Our leaders are doing a great job right now. The winning Powerball ticket was sold in California, or was it? Did they claim it? Again, non-stop snowing in Japan, and Alaska is warming faster than the rest of the country. Fast-moving wildfires near Boulder, Colorado, two whole towns evacuated, at least a thousand homes destroyed, and over 30,000 people evacuated at least. They likely suspect that it was a downed power line, but it could be arson. However, 100 mile per hour, per hour hurricane force winds don't help the matters. So let's not try to split hairs on whether it's climate change or not. More than half the people eligible haven't got their booster yet. Biden warned Putin over the phone on Thursday that that he should not do anything. It's basically a game of chicken because Ukraine is, has their requirements and we have ours. So who's going to make the move? Straightforward. If in fact he invades Ukraine, there will be severe consequences. It's a red line. Отдававшихся этих устных заверениях, что НАТО не будет расширяться на восток, но все было сделано ровно наоборот. Israel is offering a fourth dose of Pfizer for the immunocompromised or vulnerable, and that Alaska town, Kodiak, Alaska, registered a statewide 67 degrees Fahrenheit temperature warmer than Southern California. Because that's totally fucking normal. Betty White dies at 99 and we all died a little. And then the ball dropped and we entered 2022 with celebrations occurring in a scaled back manner all over the world. However, Pope Francis started the new year denouncing violence against women, saying it's an attack against God and bringing peace into the world. Blah, 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 as he gets paid billions of dollars a year. Biden declares a disaster relief for Colorado and Kim Jong-un in North Korea talks food not nukes in 2022, because apparently they've been eating black swans. Could be wrong. James Webb unfurls its shieldy thingy. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, looks like progress is coming along on our search to explore the universe. More tornadoes in the Midwest and chip shortages next year are anticipated, but sales will go up for auto manufacturers. Car prices are hundreds of dollars more of what their asking price is. And several L.A. County beaches close after a sewage spill. Because we just literally can't get our shit together. Isn't life grand? This has been your January 3rd update. We're in the new year. New vibe. I have a new microphone coming, so no more of this lavalier bullshit. It's been a nice run. Done it a few months now, but I'm about to turn into a professional YouTuber, I think been a great time guys what's happening in the world thanks for subscribing like share comment subscribe go to my patreon you know the deals been nice catching up and i'll catch you guys next week